Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of In Conversation with Bright Minds. And today we have with us uh, Tanishi Kansal. Now, she has been a very sincere student of mine since her college days. And currently, she is uh, doing her master's from IIT Kanpur. So, uh, welcome to the show, Tanishi. Thank you, ma'am. So, Tanishi, I remember you, Radhika, one one other student, uh, I don't know, her, I don't recall her name, one of your Neha. other friends. Yes, Neha. yes. I think she went outside India, is it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. All of you, you know, I remember as one sincere group of students, <laughs> always yeah. stuck together and, you know, studying, studying and studying. So, so yes, uh, there are some students a teacher can never forget. And I, I know you guys are one of those. So, yeah. Tanishi, tell us about how IIT Kanpur has been and, you know, how's the campus, how's the faculty there? Ma'am, uh, IIT Kanpur has been uh, nice till now. Like, uh, it has been a year I have been studying here. Like, it is now uh, we are ending towards our second semester. So, uh, the campus is like very huge. Uh, it is one of the biggest campus among all the IITs. Uh, I think second largest. Uh, and the campus is very beautiful. There is a lot of places here, a lot of greenery and a lot of places to go to. And uh, something or the other keeps on happening in the campus. So uh, if someone wants to like enjoy also campus life, so uh, along with studies, so it's like a good place for them. And uh, like faculty is also like very nice. Uh, all the fa uh, faculty are very uh, proficient and like they have studied from, uh, mostly they have studied from foreign universities and mm. uh, our old faculty is also like very nice. Uh, and they teach us also very well. And also because our uh, batch size here is a uh, bit small. So all the teachers are like, uh, know us by uh, by faces and like the, int the interaction with the faculty is very easy and uh, we can ask doubts uh, to them uh, whenever we want. Like by mm -hmm. mailing them, we get, the, we get the appointment and we can go to them individually and ask them doubts. So that way the faculty is very good and they teach us also very nice, very nicely. Got it. So, um, what what about first year? Do you feel that uh, what you had learned at Delhi University, was it enough to understand first year well or has the level increased? Ma'am, actually, uh, like honestly, uh, what we learned at DU was not enough, uh, especially mm -hmm. in IIT, because here uh, they put a lot of uh, emphasis on mathematics. Uh, like the maths which we studied here was... Uh, uh, way more uh, advanced than what we studied in Delhi University. Uh, and also, uh, in the second semester, they have introduced a full-fledged Python course. And for that, I will suggest everyone who wants to come here, please uh, uh, not only learn the basics of Python, but um, it will be better if they do a proper course of Python beforehand. That will help them because like, it is it, it, it has been very difficult for all of us who are new, like beginners in uh, coding uh to cope up with the classes and uh, all the questions like it's kind of machine learning only what we are doing currently in python and in other subjects also we are doing other softwares also like mm. our uh, matlab so but those are at basic levels but python is what i will suggest that they should learn beforehand somewhat they should know then it will be helpful otherwise it will be very difficult uh, and also the math should is something they should have a strong hold on like mathematics uh, is being emphasized here like from day one all the subjects are very technical like macroeconomics in delhi university we study uh, mm. in a very theo like it's all theory and theory mm. but here mm. it's all technical only uh, lagrangian only solving and solving only algebra in ma uh, macro is what we are studying this semester got it got it I think that is something, so both the points are very important. So I will tell you my experience also. Even in Delhi School of Economics, they used to not teach a lot of coding. And when I got placed, um, you know, from the very first day, we were asked to go ahead and code in in, in um, our job. So it is good that, you know, you are learning it at your master's level. It will be better when you go ahead for a job. And it is much better if you learn in the undergrad. Delhi University has launched R course, but still they haven't launched Python. And mm -hmm. Python is intensively used in organization. Every data scientist should know Python by 
by heart i should say you know you should know mm-hmm. when to use numpy you should know when to use other tools you know everything should yes, be yes, in your yes, mind exactly. so it is very very important to learn python i agree and uh, as far as maths is concerned a lot of students are still very afraid of maths in our batch also in the current batch and in macroeconomics especially in masters you introduce dynamic models which yes, requires yes, exactly. a lot of maths so yes. it is essential that you know maths without maths i mean i always tell if you love economics you have to love maths the yes, two go in hand exactly. in hand right yes there are some courses of masters in economics which don't require maths like for example uh, agricultural economics or yes, things sir. like that but if you want to be a good data scientist in the future you need to know all of these things well yes sir yes. right okay so tanishi uh, you know what's the process of getting into iit kanpur because uh, the gate score i is not enough right you need to yes. give another set of entrance so yes. how does that happen Uh, ma'am, first, uh, so, like uh, every all the students give gate uh, or jam. Both scores are valid here. Mm-hmm. Like uh, they consider both the scores based on the sco- like. Then they have to fill a form on the portal. There's a designated portal for filling the form for IIT Kanpur, and then they shortlist the students based on the gate and jam score. And uh, those shortlisted students then uh, have to give a second written test at here at IIT Kanpur only in an mm-hmm. offline mode. and that paper has like approximately 50 questions 50 questions uh 10 questions are from economics okay. uh and uh, 25 questions are of mathematics and uh, uh 15 questions include english and logical reasoning that two of like a uh, good level like moderate level okay. and uh, the syllabus for all the three uh, categories is given on our uh, website anyone can search on google that uh, itk msc economics so they will go like, get the page and there everything is there uh, hmm. even the previous year paper is also av- available with the, with the answer key uh, so and after the second test then they uh, like uh, they like give the results they give a, a list of students who got selected and uh, wait okay. list also come like based on the cut off score so uh, so here when we say um, you know in iit kanpur With gate, IIT score is also accepted, right? Yes. Or is it only gate? Uh, uh, ma'am. Uh, actually, uh, here only here uh, at IIT Kanpur they consider both the scores, I uh, gate score also and uh, jam score also, and based on that they shortlist the students and then uh, selection happens or uh, based on the second written test. Second one. Second one. Yes. Okay, and any idea what would be the last year's cut off for gate score? Yes, ma'am. Oh uh, no, ma'am, not for gate score. I okay. don't have an idea, but okay. uh, for second written test, I have an idea. It's, okay. Uh, like the uh, paper was of hundred uh, marks, hmm. and I think seventy two was the cut off. Got it. Which is which is good enough. I mean, even if seventy two for general category. Okay. Okay. Yes. And there was no negative marking in the second round. No, ma'am, there is negative okay. marking. Okay, there yes. was negative marking in the second yes. round. Got it. So. Then is she? Then is there any interview which takes place, or this no, is ma'am. it? After the this second round, you directly get into IIT. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So, can you guide students how they should be preparing for the second round? What should what you studied uh, for the second round in particular? Ma'am, uh, for the second round, uh, I did like this. Already, they must be preparing if hmm. they have given jam gate and other entrances. Hmm. so i just continued with my preparation i just revised all the topics which were given in the syllabus on the website and i also solved uh, jam and uh, gate uh, papers uh, again and again like two okay. three times jam papers only i solved uh, okay. all the papers and uh, now they have the previous year paper also uh, of uh, second entrance test so they can solve that also and i will suggest them what they have been doing till now if they have cleared the shortlisted uh, part of the uh, ja- on the basis of jam score and gate score so mm. i will suggest that they should revise only and uh, revise all the topics especially given in the syllabus on the website uh, thoroughly so they should go on with that and should not touch anything new just uh, stick to the syllabus and practice questions that Got that it. will be my advice got it so uh, anything in particular for maths any book that you would like to suggest the students because they are always confused and the only book that is there is hamid so anything else yes, you ma'am. practiced 
uh ma'am actually i practiced uh, the coaching stuff only i did not okay. uh, touch anything else because i was like uh, there is less time i should not go to any other thing but what helped me was past year papers only not only jam and it past year papers i would suggest uh, do isi dse as per your time availability you should do a uh, practice questions from that uh, because maths was of uh, like it was not that difficult uh, maths which was asked in the entrance Hmm. the difficult part you do here <laughs> so the maths in that will will be doable because they have mentioned that maths and statistics which they are asking is of college level Got so it. yes so it's better if they uh, practice the questions based on the college level only and follow the syllabus the syllabus is also mentioned uh, and uh, they can see the previous year paper uh, it is also uh, evident from that that uh, maths was not difficult which was asked hmm. got i remember two to three students from artha point were also um they are yes, at iit kanpur and yes, one of one of her i think she she was confused between iit kanpur and i think dsc or igidr yes ma'am when you you had counseled last time what should be done so i think you also got selected for uh, igidr right manishi no ma'am uh, i got selected for ashoka university uh, iift iit kanpur uh, gip like gokhale gokhale so, yes, yes yes i yes. asked you about uh, ashoka mm-hmm. and uh, IIT Kanpur and yes, yes, and I think IIT Kanpur any day any day is above all of these institutes, yes. right? So since I think yours is the first batch to yes, to go through this process, so yes. how has been the internship opportunity? Have they started coming in for economics uh, batch? Yes, ma'am, uh, ma'am. Like in general, uh, for all the universities now, the there is like recession, so uh, jobs are yes. less for everyone in general. and uh, here also um uh, there is a students placement office so there we uh, like there we can apply we can we have to submit our resumes hmm. on the portal and then internship opportunities uh, keep coming from the student placement office like it is for everyone so uh, basically uh, here uh, the thing is that uh, we are competing not only with uh, msc economic students but also with msc statistics students and as a mathematics students because what opportunities open for us uh, it opens for them also exactly. and sometimes btech students also so here the competition is bit more so i think that can be covered by our hard work and our caliber so i think that is not a very big problem but i think anyone who is coming here they should have that like mind frame that you will be facing that competition hmm but i think still uh... after the branding of iit you anyways have good opportunities to go yes. and apply even outside iit i mean outside your campus placement you get good opportunities to go ahead and apply yes ma'am also uh, if someone does not want to go to the corporate uh, there is uh, like what they can do is they can ask professors approach professors to uh, for some research projects or okay. uh, they can apply to rbi uh, now recently uh, ministry of statistics must be uh, uh opportunity came up for research intern so hmm. those opportunities are also there if someone wants to pursue phd or something then they can approach the pro- uh, professors individually mailing them and then they can discuss with them and they can get a project under them got it got it. so um uh, tanishi one last question that i have for you so since you know just limited time is left and students have uh, still a lot of different kind of exam and the pattern is also different like south asian university has a very different mm-hmm. pattern and ashoka has a different pattern mm-hmm. and uh, iit kanpur has a different pattern yes. jamia has a different pattern how do you go ahead and prepare yourself for different you know different level of exams how do you make sure that you know the basic level also well and you know you know the advanced level also well uh ma'am for that uh, i think they will also have to prioritize like mm-hmm. which uh, college or university they want to go to the like most uh, mm-hmm. they want that they have to go to that particular university so they need to prioritize also like what i did was i prioritized that i have to uh, go to this particular university and i should give my, uh, most of my time to that uh, and otherwise i'm uh, i think uh, if someone's basics are clear so they can uh, do the advanced part also but if their basics are not clear they cannot do the basic part also and advanced part also mm-hmm. So they should um, like make sure that their basics are very much clear, and then they should uh, like uh, categorize. Yes, yes. 
that but, will be my advice that your basics should be strong if your basics are strong then only you can go to the advanced part or the basic part otherwise that thing can be done if you will directly focus on the advanced part then uh, you won't be able to do both the advanced part and the basic part so i think it. they should revise more i think revision is the key revision and practice yes right <laughs> yes okay got it so uh, tanisha thank you uh, for your time today i think this is going to be very helpful for uh, your juniors who will be coming there and once my I students hope, come at iit i will let you know i will tell them yes, that if they have a senior <laughs> you can okay. guide them there also <laughs> yes ma'am okay uh, and uh, i wish you all the best i keep looking at all the extra curricular activities that you do at iit and they are very very good you know i see all those uh, good things happening at iit those yes, dance ma'am. performances and other things and it kind of is nice that you know you have so many extra curricular activities yes, happening ma'am. at iit so all the very best tanishi for your future and i hope you get placed at a good uh, you know a corporate if if you're looking for corporate placement you get good placement in the future yes uh, thank you so much ma'am okay thank you thank you yeah. tanishi goodbye thank you ma'am